Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, unfortunately, we have kind of a, a really shitty day. Although to me, I'm kind of happy about it. I don't, I'll explain why after. I actually ripped my low life righteous fire character and I'm gonna show go ahead and show you guys exactly and more specifically what happened in this clip because if you read reddit pretty much everyone's gonna tell you some false information about stuff so I'd like to clarify so you guys don't get confused by some idiots on reddit uh, before you look there so basically what was happening is it was a normal shaper thing I was testing out to see how much damage some of the vortexes did and whatnot and that's actually not what I was testing I figured out that I can tank a vortex excuse me I can tank a vortex on this character along with a beam at the same time with my flasks up. The problem that happened here is, through about the 17 Shaper runs I've done, I personally never really got frozen by anything, which is fair to assume because Shaper's not really going to freeze you unless he crits you, and it's just something that, you know, I just didn't really register. I felt comfortable running my Shaper runs and whatnot. Um, and, you know, nothing really hit me tremendously hard in the fight itself. You know, I could bob and weave through, through the mechanics and everything was pretty much fine. And then I got hit by my first set of crits, uh, which is kind of what happened. So the biggest problem here is that Fortify actually is not up. If Fortify was up, I'm pretty sure I potentially could have lived, um, also potentially having a Sapphire Flask. But the thing is, is that when you play Righteous Fire, Righteous Fire kind of puts you in a different way to play the video game than, than normal. Most builds rely on trying to keep up all their flasks at once. Righteous Fire is kind of like, if you're mapping, sure you press all the buttons at the same time. But when you're doing things like Shaper, your goal is to out-sustain your opponent. So if you get caught off, bar uh, caught off guard by something and die within a good, you know, second, then unfortunately that kind of just happens. You know, mistakes do happen on characters. So what I want to go ahead and do, and the reason why I'm okay with this death, even though I actually used 6200 fusings on my character for my low life righteous fire to six link my shafts, this gives me an opportunity to level up the character the way I wanted to level it up in the first place, which was through righteous fire totems. This is also a really cool way because I can show you guys my progress with my character um, with kind of like budget gear that I'm going to play around with. I also want to go ahead and try to maybe make a budget mana variation character because if I do something with mana then you can scale dream fragments which prevents freeze and chill and gives the 50% mox mana which scales with the um, the mana nodes from the guardian itself and being able to remove freeze and chill from that fight would completely eliminate exactly what happened in there now for people who want to clarify as well my gloves essentially have the um, the proc on them for creates blah 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 on crit so you can see here when I got hit it created the consecrated ground which then confirms that I was actually crit and then the way shapers attack works I believe the rest of the remaining one which would be the other two also crit um, so just overall like I said something that happens something that I didn't really take into account it just comes with inexperience that's pretty much it um, and that's gonna happen in pretty much every video game that you play, you know, you have to learn the fight Nothing is gonna be super perfect even if you have a retardedly overpowered character If you are inexperienced with something it's gonna get you it's gonna creep up on you And that's what I love about this game, you know, it's not about being bad or good It's if you truly do not understand the mechanics of the fight and you don't really have a gauge of how much damage you take there's always going to be a lethal thing. Like I said, I like I did Shaper maybe 17, 18 times, and I was pretty confident. I thought to myself, I was going to die. It would probably be on, probably be on like the third phase of the fight, um, and I thought it was actually going to be from the balls too. But I had no clue that they would hit me this hard uh, without my fortify up. So moving on to the passive tree on the character if I bring him that's right he's not in hardcore anymore on standard this is also cool because I have a character in standard that I can test content on now that I've never had before so with the tree I ended up remodifying a couple of things on the character um, nothing really too crazy I just respect essentially this for this which I think is more efficient with arsonist um, so this leveling tree basically allows me to grab totemic mastery come up and grab Ancestral Bond, move across and grab Shamanistic Fury. So leveling as Totem should be totally, totally fine. Um, now, one other thing I was thinking of getting is Indomitable would actually reduce the damage I take from critical strikes, 
which I think could actually help us even more. The only thing is, is that this is potentially 600 ES to be lost, so you really have to make up and figure out if it's better to get it or not. I was also thinking for Uber Lab running, this is pretty cool. I was pretty happy with the damage of the character. I definitely could have squeezed out some more damage, uh, but overall it was pretty fun to play on, and that's the character you can see right here uh, with my six link shafts that took 6200 chaos on him. Some other people were saying like you could use an Oxium and whatnot. The problem is, is that Oxium wouldn't save you. Unless you're totally immune to freeze, you're not gonna be safe on that fight. Um, another thing is you could run a remove freeze flask, which I actually have right here. But again, the unexpected things happen and your character can die. So what's gonna be the future? The future is pretty much gonna be tomorrow when I wake up and start the stream, we're gonna be leveling with Righteous Fire Totems and I can insert that stuff into the build guide. And as I said before, we're gonna just continue on getting our character back to where he was. Uh, and I'll probably revisit Shaper at a later time, but I wanna see, um, essentially make a progress update on my character because I didn't do that last time and show the steps into in towards gearing your character into a low life righteous fire guy anyway I hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourself uh, you know I hope I didn't offend anybody by doing this I don't really know what's going on with the PoE community uh, I guess this happens anytime someone dies on I don't know on the front page people just go fucking bonkers um, so I do apologize if anyone was caught in the crossfire there I guess I'm gonna have the new the new name uh, cocky for the next I guess six months but anyway I hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourself remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv/pox and I will see you guys all tomorrow boys have a wonderful time.